We wouldn't be walking into Bunnings without this brand. Yeah. How many times a week do you play golf, Billy? Uh, more than I should. <laughs> Probably more than I should. Okay. Touchwood, we've not we, we've been mm. we've done yeah, over that's... we've done over 100 castles last year. Yeah. Wow. And um, we've not had a single incident. So uh, at the moment, I've got bookings right up until December. Um, wow. But that that'll probably change quite quickly. I think we we usually from about October onwards, we're like absolutely flat chart right, really? right into January sort of yeah. things. So welcome to the Gym's Group podcast today. We've got an exciting newish division, which we're going to go into a little bit about it, but it's the fun division. So it's Gym's Jumping Castles and Party High. And I've got Chantel and Billy who have come down to our training as well. You're currently franchisees. Now you're becoming franchisors as well, which is something we'll get into as well. But first, let's start off with a bit about yourselves and how did you get involved with Gym's? Do you want to go first? No, well, I can go first. <laughs> yeah. um, basically, um, we um, work full time um, and we were looking at something that we can do on the side. Um, as an extra revenue not to take away from our full-time job. Um, we did some Googling, we did some look around. Um, we both have a background in hospitality and event management. So it's like, well, what can we do that isn't going to take all of our time but still be fun to do on the weekends and not feel like you're doing work? Um, we did some Googling and Jumping Castles came up. Um, we did some look into it and it's quite an expensive area to get into independently um, because of the insurances um, and then we found out that Jim's was doing it. So we reached out to Jim's, um, got some information and it just streamlined the whole process for us and it was just really easy to get into compared to sourcing our own manufacturers in, to get mm -hmm. castles made and you know the, trying to build a brand that you know it was just easy. Yeah. And you mentioned you're working full time still, and you're doing this on the side, or how does it work now? We're not anymore. Okay. No, so, so full time. Yeah, so we actually at the end of last year, um, we decided to take a bit of a break because this was really um, ramping up and yep. it was getting really busy, and uh, and you know we we ne had never taken a break um, to date from our full time jobs. So we we got married, we went on a honeymoon, and um, and then came back and and decided to kind of take this in in full steed, and um, we we basically sort of turned it into to full time work equivalent, um, essentially. So, um, yeah, it's been a marvellous journey. Um, and, and so I think, you know, we, we will look to get back mm. to some sort of part-time work probably um, just to, you know, keep that kind of going and, yep. and, and then have this again as more of a sort of secondary income. Um, but we have at this stage been able to build it up yeah. to something it Supports the two of us. It does, yeah. yeah, which has been great. That's great yeah. because I, mean, cause I remember we were talking about when the division originally launched, it was more of a plan like, you know, work a full-time job, as you said, and then yeah. on the weekends you could do this for some extra money as well. And it yeah. does a really unique division for gyms because that's not normally the case. Exactly. So it's probably the first division where it's been, someone's been able to do it as a true side hustle on the weekend. Mm -hmm you keep their full job if they want to do it that way. Exactly. I think the beauty with this division is the fact that you can choose your own journey. Mm. So mm. if you want to go full-time hardcore and you've got the passion and the time, um, you can. Like That's basically what we did. We started day one with three jumping castles, a slushy machine, a popcorn machine, a fairy floss machine. And within 12 months, we've quadrupled what really? we have. So we mm. currently have like 10 castles. Um, we've got multiple slushy machines, mm. multiple popcorn machines, um, and very we're nice. fairy floss machines, chocolate mm. fountains, um, which brings me on to a, a thing with this division is that we can, you have the flexibility to expand out of the normal remit. So like we have the ability to, if you want to go and do balloon decorating, and that's something that you can do because maybe the castles, you only want to do smaller castles, you have that option. So it's fantastic for us. Like you've started doing face painting, I do balloon yeah. twisting, um, you know, spray on tattoos and things like that. We, there's endless in this area where we can go as long as it's mm. safe and we can deliver a high customer standard. It's really endless. That's a great point what you make, Billy, about even though it's called jumping castles and party hire, under the party hire, as you said, there's yeah. so many services that you could do under that, as you mentioned before, you got face painting, you said tattoo. I know I saw John with a pony yeah. before <laughs> and right. as a unicorn dressed up and stuff. So I don't think anything. he gets to keep the pony. No, no, no. <laughs> you had to get the pony back. Not a free pony. Yeah. <laughs> but, but as you said, but you've started off with this this small operation. Yeah. Now you've expanded to this, like, mm. and you can offer all these different things under the gym's banner. You're not really restricted at all, really, for what you can do. No. Mm. Um, and like um, we've got a, a, um, a lovely lady who's coming on board. Um, she's actually here doing her training today. Mm. Um, she wants to go into soft play. So because she's got a young child and she goes, I'm in all these mums and bubs groups. You know, one-year-old birthday parties are hard. So she wants to do the really small jumping castles, you know, for the baby showers and things like that and the ball pits and mm. stuff. So mm. if, if you want to go and do it and we can provide it safely, 
there's nothing stopping stopping them from doing it. Mm -hmm. What's the reaction been to you guys compared to, let's say, because obviously there's a lot of independence, I would say, in this sort of area. I don't mm -hmm. think there's really any national or any sort of big no, brand. No, over. there's definitely a lot of Facebook operators. Yep. Um, I mm -hmm. think the response that we've got from probably 90% of our customers is, you answer the phone, we know you're safe. We know, yeah. but we know that your castles are built above the Australian safety standard. Um, you know, safety is such a big part of what we have to do. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we've got all the public liability insurance. You know, we're all police checked. We're all working with honourable people cards um, because, you know, we're around kids. Mm. Um, mm. And we've got to make sure that we're delivering a safe product. Mm. Um, and people really value that, you know, and also they know they've got someone to call back on, fall back on. If something, they're not happy with the service, they can call the National Call Centre and they can lodge and say, hey, this wasn't right or, you know, and we can fix it. Yeah. But yeah. when you've got these independent operators, you've got Terry who owns his local bounce place. If you're not happy with what he does, you've got nowhere to Correct. go to. So yeah. the, I think the trust that w the customers have, we, especially with the brand, I mean, we do a lot of work for places like Bunnings because obviously the Gyms Group have a great partnership with Bunnings. Mm. So they use us in their stores because they're like, you know, we know you're going to deliver what we need you to deliver. We do government work. Yeah, you know. I was going to say, we all, we've also been able to attract all of those corporate clients as well. So yeah. as franchisees, it's it's been amazing to be backed by the brand because that's just something you'll never be able to get. I should ask you about that because I've seen you. I've seen your photos in um, the Bunning store, which is fantastic. And you mentioned corporate clients. So, what type of things are you doing for corporate clients? Yeah, so we've got um, ACT Gov. Um, we've become a, a supplier for them, so we're actually in their system now, which is wow. great. Mm -hmm. um, and and some federal departments as well, for federal government departments. Um, they so need some fun. Are they getting the jumping castles for themselves? Are they? Yeah, yeah? they certainly oh, are. Really? Um, yeah. Okay, so we, 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 we did a, a, um, a job just at the end of last year for their um, like Christmas family event um, ah. at HQ Jock. Um, we've been to Defence, um, we've done some work for Defence, um, ADFA, um, and then a lot of the universities as well in Canberra, we've done quite a bit of work for. Okay. Um, and then also, you know, of course, you know, schools, um, ush, ushers, um, you know, daycare centres, yep. all that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, it's been amazing. The, the clientele we've been able to attract mm. has been fantastic, but that's all because of the brand. Yeah. So We wouldn't be walking into Bunnings without this brand. There's no yeah. way that Bunnings would trust yeah. a random operator to go, yeah, come into our stores. Um, mm. And I don't know, we can probably put a picture up of our setup. It's impressive. Mm. You know, it looks good mm. for them as a store yeah. to have someone that they trust, um, which, you know, also helps the fact that we're part of the group mm. because, you know, they do look after us as well when we want to buy something. So it's good that they mm. can, we can give us money for a change. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know? And I was going to say as well, the, um, yeah, the safety aspect you mentioned before is obviously because of an incident, there's a mm. lot more in people's minds now and also, and also the trust around uh, young co children and something like that. And I think, as you said before, the brand just would hold so much weight with a customer who's a bit unsure mm. as opposed to these other, as you call them, Facebook operators, you know, because mm. it can be quite, yeah. who is this person? Yeah. And, I don't know who they are, all that sort of stuff. Like, where do you, where do you go? Mm. Whereas now at the gyms, they've got a really good trusted brand where they can go and don't have to worry about that sort of stuff is what I sort of get the sense of. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. Even to to the way that we secure our castles down, so we don't use giant tent pegs. Our, our anchors actually screw into the ground. Mm. Our castles have fourteen tie down points in them, where like most castles in Australia have between four and eight. Yeah. So, so it's, it's just well above, well above the standard. Mm. Um, all of our castles have got like self closing doors, so kids can't fall out. They've really have when they designed these castles and had them custom made for us. They really have gone and done their homework yeah. um, and they are just an amazing product they look spectacular mm. um, you know we've got you know if we were just starting up you'd have three castles and you go well three castles it's not a lot but we can change the theme on our castles so actually you've got yeah. 20 castles but you've only bought three okay so yeah. um, so it's very versatile yeah and things like we can we've got like a happy birthday theme um, which we can customize with children's name and their age um, and that's been pretty cool too to see the kids' faces when you're putting their name on the front of the castle. They just light up like, and yeah, it's Absolutely. pretty pretty cool experience. Can you talk about the safety standard just again, just because I'm a, yeah. I'm a lay, lay person, I want to understand this a bit better because you mentioned something mm -hmm. there. Because I've, I've been to a few parties and as you said, I'm thinking, oh, geez, I've only put four pegs in the side and there's no, and you mentioned a mm -hmm. thing like a safety door and stuff. So what should a, um, let's say if someone's looking at a party, what actually from a safety consideration point of view should the, the person know that they should have or that that actually is available to them? For jumping castles or for some other things well, there? Mainly for us. Look, I, I, I believe that we have the safest castle on the market, mm. full stop. 
Um, I've I spend a lot of time now, unfortunately, going looking at other people's castles when I'm going down the shops, or if I right. go past someone's yeah. event, you know, you have to have a sneaky look. Um, and just the way that we, um, the castles anchor to the ground, um, mm. they would, the anchoring systems we use, like I said, they, they basically look like a big carrot and they screw into the ground. We have a giant um, impact driver that literally drives them into the ground. They go in about 30 centimeters. Okay. Um, I've seen these ground anchors pull four wheel drive cars out when they've been stuck. They are solid into the ground, mm. so um, they, they the castles aren't coming up. Obviously, that's the first question we get asked because, yep. unfortunately, we, there has been incidents um, where people haven't done the right thing, um, and that's why we're so thing of you know safety is everything. It's paramount. The other thing as well, though, is uh, we've got um, uh, anemometers as well that we give to, to customers to measure the wind speed, um, which again sets us apart from everyone else because I don't think I've seen anybody else no. do that. Um, so we've got strict guidelines about monitoring the wind um, over the course of their hire. Um, and again, you know, it just instills in the customer's mind that oh, this is actually really safe. You've gone above and beyond to make mm. sure that, you know, I'm getting the best and safest experience. And you mentioned the, the gate as well. Yeah, so yeah. we've got self-closing yeah. doors. Yeah. Okay. So on the front of the castles, um, when the kids go in, they have to actually lift up the door. It's it's basically got a, um, a, a string in it that pulls it back down. So the yeah. kids physically can't fall out the front. Um, mm. All the adults, because they are rated for adults. <laughs> they uh, are. We've done some awesome 21st really? birthday yeah. parties. Yeah, and 40th so, birthday and parties. And 40th birthday parties too. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. they it, they are really designed as a, as a safety was paramount when they did build this, because obviously um, they they looked at what was available in the market and they went, look, we just need a better product. And I do genuinely believe we have a better product. I think everyone's seen some kid fly at the front and hit their head or... Yeah. Break, break an arm or something like that. An adult, <laughs> adult gets drunk or something and falls out and does the same sort of thing. Yeah, so. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. Touch, so. touch wood. We've not. We, we've been. Mm. We've done yeah, over. That's... We've done over a hundred castles last year. Yeah. Wow. Um, we've not had a single incident. That's so, unreal. Um, it's yeah. the, the 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 way the castles are designed is that yeah they they they're super safe. They're super yeah. safe. And yeah. but also what we've noticed is um, because the type of customers that team gyms to a, seems to attract. They're very attentive of like, you know, these are our rules. And because the briefings that we go, we go through and go, look, you know, these are the points where we feel if someone's going to hurt themselves, this is what you need to look for. You yep. know, don't have 20 kids in the castle. Someone is going to get hurt. Yeah. And the parents go, oh, yeah. And they, you know, and um, we, to date, like I said, we've never had any incidents. Um, mm. So it's, it's been really good. That's awesome to hear. But, and I was going to say as well, with... Um, your plan, what, what do you hope to do? So you've been doing it as a franchisee for a while now and, you, and you've yeah. obviously done more than 100 castles, as you said, which is a lot yeah. of jobs. Yeah. What is your plan then for yourself with the division? Yeah, so I think um, we, we definitely want to expand um, our remit and, and what we have available. So we've got some larger um, inflatables that are coming towards the end of this year, um, which will be exciting. Um, and and then, yeah, the, the long-term plan for us is is to become franchisors and, and, and you know, buy territory and, and have people under us um, yep. so we can sort of get into more of that um you know, business uh, management and, and supporting others um, to, to, you know, to work their dream. Um, so, yeah, so that that's sort of our long-term goal. Um, but, you know, we, we love what we're doing. It's, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's amazing. So. And why should someone be a franchisee then? What would you say to, what would you say to them? Or who should be, like, what type of person would suit being a franchisee in the division and what sort of things would you look for? Uh, okay, I can answer that one. Yeah, of course I can. I, I can answer that one. Yeah, great. Um, I genuinely think anyone who um, is looking for something that can be what they want it to be. Um, if you just want to make, you know, if you just want to do a few jobs a week, the systems are set up there that, that it's still affordable to just do three castles a week. You're not going to make an earth-changing amount of money, but you're going to make enough money to be a significant increase to what you would make working a nine-to-five. Mm. Um, if you want to take it into large, into bigger things, it can be whatever you want it to be within that party space. Um, like I said, we had the idea of starting this and we would be happy if we were making $1,000 a week. I think mm. we made more than that in our first week. Yeah. Like, and we have, you know, so it's been consistently, like, I mean, it's supporting two of ours wage mm. on one franchise. So it's, yeah. you know, it, it just depends what you want it to be. Um, and I really like the fact that we're not restricted on what we can do in this space you know if we want to um, if we want to go and like I said do other things in that party space we can um, you know as long as it's safe and it's to a, a quality that you know Jim would be proud of yeah you know it's really endless you know so 
um, like Chantel said, we're going to go. We're hopefully going into um, larger inflatables, so like giant obstacle courses and big bungee runs for big corporate events, because our client, clients in Canberra are saying that's what we would like. Um, so that's you know we that's what we're going to move into. If you're in a in a rural area, um, you know they're happy just to have someone offering the service. You know, yep. we're in Canberra and we go all the way down to Goulburn because there's literally no one in the area. So we travel an hour and a half to get there, and there's enough work there to make the trip worth doing. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's just options. But so if you want to do it full time, sort of like you obviously have the weekend, which is like maybe mm-hmm. your kids' birthdays on the Saturday and Sunday, and then during the week you might do a couple of those corporate events. Is that sort of the way you're sort of structuring at the moment, or yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's it. So um, yeah, and then I, I think too, you know, the the work that you can sort of cover off in those sort of three days, um, it can be sort of full time equivalent. But then that opens up options to do so much other things mm. in, in the week, which is. Mm. Great for flexibility and you know work life balance. I think is 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 brilliant. So, yeah. yeah I don't think I've played as much golf as I have oh, really? in the last six months. Well, like, how does the week currently look for you then? So we <laughs> we, we start we start cast, we start dropping yeah. castles off and doing stuff on Fridays. On so, Fridays, yeah. Um, so because you know because most people will book for four hours but some people will go hey can i have it overnight or can i yep. have it for a longer period of time it's like you know of course you can because that makes my life easier but you feel like you're getting more for your Dollar, hire yeah. mm-hmm. so we drop off on friday sometimes we pick up on mondays you know on on average we do about six castles a week okay so usually about four on a saturday and usually a couple on a sunday um yeah. and a lot of our stuff as well is operating our machine so like the corporate gigs they want us to go there and make the fairy floss and hand out the popcorn and yep. engage with the kids, like for Bunnings. Um, they, they really like that. Um, but also for um, corporate parties, they're like, look, we have got all care, but we want no responsibility. So if, can you stand there and supervise it? And of course we can. Mm. I'm going to charge you for it. But, you know, then from, from a customer's point of view, they go, I don't need to worry about it. Mm. Mm. And if something goes wrong, I don't need to worry about it. We, we've, got, we've got the best that can do this for us right now. And how's the lifestyle been for you? Amazing. It's been amazing. Yeah. yeah. We've been yeah. able to even just being able to travel, you know, going to some of these regional areas and with our with our shirts on, you know, representing the brand, you know, and, and meeting people has just been incredible. Like mm. we've met so many amazing people. I've literally had people like they're just always so happy to see you and they've run up to me and like big hugs and, and all that sort of thing. Mm. So yeah, it's that's been incredibly rewarding. Yeah. How many times a week do you play golf, Billy? Uh, more than I should, <laughs> probably more than I should. But yeah, I mean, it has been good. Like genuinely, the um, it no one's ever sad to see us turn up. No, you know, how like, can you be in the shirt? No, see, exactly the colours. Exactly. It's no. a <laughs> yeah, but it's, yeah. It's, it's gratifying. Like you know, yeah. as as you know, in certain divisions, you know, you, everyone's providing a service. Yeah. But we bring in the fun, so and people are just genuinely happy to see us, and mm. just also the relief that you know of. I know the party sorted. You know, yeah. you're mm. you're here on time. Everything's clean. Everything's well maintained, and it's just delivered amazingly. Mm. And you know, that's you know that's all that's what we're looking for. Some more people to come and yeah. carry that on because we're just really struggling to get more people like quality people that actually want to jump on board because yeah. we there's such an opportunity out there right now Absolutely. for people. I love you love that title. We're bringing the fun. That should yeah. be the name for the division. That's the title it. for the division. But yeah. we've got this piece of paper here, so nice segue into that, is about unserviced jobs. So we've got a system here called FMS and we print out a report which is the unserviced leads. So this is actually from our system from the start of the year. Mm-hmm. So maybe Billy or Chantel, you can read this out about the number of yeah. Unserviced leads from the start of the year for the division. Absolutely. Um, so we've got um, a total of 678 yeah. um, unserviced leads. But people so. have called up, they want to jump in castles and we couldn't do it because there's no one in the area. And that's, exactly. it's, yeah. it's a, quite a shame because there's obviously that much demand and you guys have obviously generated all this unserviced work. So they've probably seen you around or had a good experience and then yeah. they've called up and no one's available or... So it's a pretty, pretty massive number. It's a huge number. It, it, it yeah. really is. I mean, even just last night, we, we were out in the community, like locally, yep. um, just getting dinner and doing a few bits and pieces. And um, and we had so many people coming up because we were wearing our shirts and, and they were just like, oh, jumping castles, mm. is this in this area? Like, we don't have anybody. <laughs> this is great. You yeah. know? And so I've said, you know, we've got someone coming on board in Melbourne shortly, and yep. which is great. So, yeah, like there's so much demand out there. We just need need the people. Well, yeah. I think it's, a, as you so. said before, I think it's a bit of a goal bump because as you mentioned, like you know you got your facebook operators and it's a pretty niche sort of industry you know yeah. and i think you know that'd be like very territorial and sort of just like you know that they run their own operation with not much oversight really mm-hmm. whereas you got 
you guys, whereas you know, there's like 600 and it's amazing, like 678 unserviced leads already. Mm. I mean, there's only yourself really yeah. and yeah. Op operating. It's, it's mm. quite it's quite remarkable, actually. Mm. So, it, yeah. it really is. Yeah, so they've done really well with our online presence, mm. um, especially yeah. because because we've been running for so long and we had that shutdown period. Yeah the websites and stuff were still running. So our Google analytics are amazing. Mm. Like they're, we're, we're always coming up in the top two or three in Google searches in the areas where we put in them because yep. the website's trusted on Google because it's been there for so long mm. um, and stuff. So we, we get amazing click rates and stuff yeah. through the website and our presence, the website looks amazing. And um, yeah, they just, it, it's, mm. It's there when people search for it. It's it's a it's a trusted brand. It's a great name, you know. And our trailers look like a giant jumping castle. So people just, <laughs> yeah. you know, well, kids love it. We'll show a video of the trailers. We've got a lot of your trailers, but yeah, the, the trailers look awesome. We've done a, a video of Jimmy's so honest. I know what they look like. But so, what's the actual setup though? If someone becomes a franchisee, mm -hmm. you know, with you guys, are they getting? Is the setup what they get? They obviously, got to do the training. Um, they get do they get the trail of a couple of castles or what's the setup you get when you first start? Yeah, that's it. So um, to for for the franchisees that are coming on board currently, um, we're offering like a no dollar lease on on the trailer for two years. Yeah. Um, so it means that they can hit the ground running. They don't have an additional out of pocket expense, um, which is which is really fantastic. So they can just start up straight away. Um, and the startup package um, comes with um, three of our standard customized uh, jumping castles, which are the large ones. They've all got an internal slide basketball hoops on the outside, um, so lots of features. Um, and then of course all the equipment that comes with those castles. So, um, and your first year insurance as well is covered in the in the startup pack. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so it, you know the, a lot of the, the work has sort of already been done and you know they can start, hit the ground running and and be ready to go. It sounds like a no brainer, like I know a lot of franchisees want you know their partner or something a lot of the time wants to get involved and I think this is a really good one because they can do it on the weekend and it's not a you know full on as massive investment as buying a second franchise in another division, for example, whereas with this one, uh, it seems like a perfect side one to add on to their existing oh, franchise. Anyone yeah. who's oh, already in the group yeah. and, you know, it's, it is it is good. Our, our fees are low because it was designed to be a side hustle. We, mm. They appreciate, you know, if you want to make it your full-time job, you can if you've got the demand, but mm. they know probably 90% of the people won't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like that, then that's one of the best, the best things about it. You know, if you're already in the gyms group and you go, well, you know, my main work is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I, I don't do anything on the weekends. It's something that can be added on. Mm. Um, you know, we you can we can dual brand trailers. You know, there are options out there for anyone who wants to come on board. Mm. Um, you know, we've had some people as well say, um, you know, they're they're interested in getting on board and then getting their their sort of teenage kids involved as yeah. well. So it's you know, it's a trajectory yep. plan for for the future for their families. You know, something that they can pass on. To, to the next generation. So. Well, I definitely think it's a really exciting one. I just think, the, like the unserviced leads, as I said, is amazing for um, you know, for how many people in a division. That's from the start of the year. That's not three years. That's from just the start of the year alone. So it's quite amazing in the numbers. Mm -hmm. They're there, and how, and how busy are you guys overall? Are you booked up? How far in advance are you booked up, or how does it all work? So uh, at the moment, I've got bookings right up until December. Um, wow. But that that'll probably change quite quickly. I think we we usually from about October onwards, we're like absolutely flat chat right, really? right into January sort of yep. thing. So um, yeah, so that's that that was our experience last year, and uh, I think it's it's definitely ramping up again for the the summer season, um, which is exciting. So yeah, I think it's only going to get busier and busier. Yes. How many bookings do you do a week? We do on average six to seven, yeah. probably. Okay, as a on minimum. Average, yeah. yeah. I mean, our busiest our busiest week was the week before Christmas, and we did I think four and a half thousand dollars in one week. Wow, mm -hmm. that was over four days. And how many hours do you reckon? Of, over how many hours do you reckon you would have worked for that? Uh, Probably about ten hours a day. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably about four. So probably not standard much week. more than standard working week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, obviously that's because it's Christmas week. Everyone's got Christmas parties. Everyone's and people are hiring the equipment. I mean, we're lucky we could do that because we took the initiative early and went. We've booked out this equipment and we're still getting phone calls for it. So yeah. we went and bought a second one. Okay. We were lucky yeah. enough to be able to do that. Um, so um, we've scaled really quickly because the demand's been there. And we've really put most of the, the first six months, we really put all the money we made back into the business because mm -hmm. we were working as well. So we looked at it as, you know, we don't need to live on this money. We yep. can just keep reinvesting into the business um, until we get to a stock where we fill up the garage and we go, well, it's either buy a warehouse now or stop <laughs> buying stuff, Billy. <laughs> we're pretty close to it. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, 
But a quiet week for us, genuinely, if we make under two thousand dollars a week, we're doing something wrong. Wow! Like it really is. Now, when you say that, is that from like is that three days to get that, or is that four days, or what's the? Ah, uh, probably two. two. Wow! Yeah, that's two yeah. Days. So yeah. that's yeah. yeah and use, but we we work on uh, well, I do um, where if we can drop some stuff off on Fridays and pick some stuff off on Mondays, it makes my weekends easier. Yeah. Mm. You know, I'm, everyone's grateful for it. You know, like no one. If you've booked a four hour castle, and I go, hey, don't worry, I'll pick, I'll drop it off on Friday for you, and you can keep it until your party finishes on Saturday afternoon. Yeah. They go to me, that's amazing. How much more do I need to pay? It's on me. Mm. And everyone just remembers that and stuff. So, I mean, you can't do it to everyone, but if it's going to make my life easier, mm. you know, and that's what we will we'll always do the best. And what about, let's then talk about training. Some mm-hmm. people might go, I like the sound of this, but um, I don't know how to set these things up or what's involved with it. So maybe, yeah. we're obviously at training week now, so we have the three-day generic business training, which is here. Yeah. But let's talk about um, the division specific training. So what's the stuff that they would do? Yeah, so um, so the franchise will come down with all of the equipment um, and basically spend two to three days, um, maybe even four, depending on sort of like how much ground needs to be covered. Because um, obviously if we've got people that have come on board that have got some prior knowledge of maybe doing jumping castles or other things, you know, we'll, we'll sort of touch basis on you know, the most important parts. Um, but yeah, we take you through how to how to set everything up, um, how to dismantle the machines, set the machines up, all of that sort of thing, um, right through to, you know, putting on the trailer and connecting the trailer and, and towing and, and all of that. So um, yeah, basically everything that they need to know will be covered off on in all of that training. And from a customer's uh, perspective as well, how does it generally work? So they, they want to use you guys, they call up a call center or they chuck in an online lead. Um, what's then the process for them? So lead comes through, you don't want to walk them through the steps. Yeah, so um, lead comes through um, and uh, I, 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 my biggest recommendation is that you call like immediately mm. um, because that's the, that's the biggest guarantee to obviously getting that work. Um, and so, yeah, so call immediately um, and then, you know, we talk through what we have available and, and what their needs are. Um, and then I follow that up with a, a quote um, and, and photos of everything, like all the themes and that that they get to choose from. Um, and yeah, we, we personally don't take deposits. Um, so that makes the process even easier for people so they can, you know, just make their booking. Um, and then we go back with a confirmation email and um, yeah, and then I keep in touch right up until the delivery day. Um, and, you know, obviously on the delivery day, we send a message when we're on our way. Um, and then, yeah, and then a nice message at the end as well to say, thank you for booking there with you. us. And what about the setup times, Billy, from your own Helen? So um, a proper setup, um, which is um, complete rock up, set up, do your time with your customer, should be about 45 minutes. Okay. So, and a pack down is about the same. So you're spending about an hour and a half with that customer um, in general. Um, so yeah, it's, um, we, we arrive, we, we walk in, we say hello, we scope the area, we, you know, we do our normal safety checks, make sure there's no overhead power lines, mm-hmm. um, check to make sure there's no uh, doggies have left any presents for us. <laughs> um, and then yeah, we go and grab the castles, we put down a ground mat so that the castles aren't directly on the ground, keeps them clean, keeps them looking nice as well. Um, and the way that we train is that the castles are rolled in a way that we just connect the blower, turn it on, and it unpacks it for you. Okay. So um, mm. one of the wonderful things is and the way that the training is delivered, um, every point of what you need to do from start to finish is touched. Um, you, you're supported every step of the way. Yeah. Um, everyone's, on the, everyone's available. You know, I'm, I'm always on the phone if anyone ever needs any help. So is all the other divisionals and the um, any other franchisee. We're a really close group. You know, we've got a great group chat. Um, people throw ideas about things they want to bring on. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we we really do um, try to make it as seamless as easy for the for the customer as well. The castle's usually up within ten minutes of us getting to the person's property, oh, well. yeah. um, and the rest is securing it down properly and going through the safety stuff with the customer, you know, taking that 10, 20 minutes with the customer, walking around the castle, showing them the anchor point, showing them the self-closing doors, um, showing them how to use the wind measuring devices, um, going through the uh, safety signs because everyone's every castle, there's a proper safety sign there. Um, it just really instills that confidence that we care and we take it seriously because we do. Yeah. So. And um, Chantel, you mentioned themes before. What themes are your castles? You said 10, I think it was before. 10? Yeah, we've yeah. got 10. Um, so we've got our generic theme, yep. um, which has just got the gym's branding, which is great for like corporate events and things like that. Um, and then we've got uh, we've got Bluey, Spider-Man, Frozen, um, 
the Wiggles, um, uh, the Paw Patrol, uh, all the sort of major. What's the most popular themes. one? Is it? Uh, I think, Bluey. well, last year um, it was a close tie between Paw Patrol and Bluey. Bluey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Bluey, Bluey's definitely <laughs> out on top there, um, which, you know, I think that will hold its hold its um, popularity for, for, for a while. bit longer. Yeah, that's it. But, you know, we, we are going to be getting some new themes by the end of the year. So um, things like Minecraft, um, Pokemon has yep. come back on yep. the scene, which yeah. is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of... A lot of great things and then of course the customizable happy birthday theme actually that is also very popular um because people love being able to add that little level of customization for sure so, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely it's good but talking about the themes though um that's also one of the good things is that when themes come and go or trends come and go like you know when coco melon was big or one of these things we those banners we can get them printed pretty okay. quickly um, we can keep on top of the trends when they're happening. You're not having to go and buy a whole new castle or having to go and retire a castle because it's no longer relevant. Um, our castles will continue to stay relevant because we can just keep changing the fronts of them. So, mm. you know, um, and we've done it for corporate clients where um, like the schools will go, hey, can you put our logo on the front of the castle? With enough lead time, of course we can. We can yeah. have a custom banner made with your logo on it so that you've got your branding on the front of the castle. Um, our corporate customers love the gyms one because um, they go, well, we don't want to pick a theme, but we still want it to be branded or it to look professional. So yeah, um, it's we can just stay on top of what the changing environment is. With the sense the photo of the gyms on at a corporate one, that'd be good to yeah, put on Yeah, hundred percent. I know Jim so quite enjoyed jumping on it when we had it set up here. So yes, yeah, he had a bit of fun yeah, on it. <laughs> it's yeah. good for the adults as well. It oh, certainly yeah. is, yeah. And I was gonna say as well, um, why, we mentioned you mentioned a bit at the start. There's obviously Facebook operators you mentioned. So why do you think gyms? Why what's your standard different compared to maybe the Facebook operators? Because as we were saying at the start, I don't think there is any national sort of uniform franchise or brand around this. As it's generally a lot of mm. local independents who have just gotten into it somehow, or they've been doing it for a long time. And it's not mm. just to disparage them, no. but it's just the way sort of the industry is going. You've done that from your perspective now. So why is mm. gyms better than maybe the Facebook operators in your perspective? I think the biggest thing is insurance. insurance um, yeah. You know, we, we, we can confidently say that we are fully insured with 20 million public liability and professional indemnity, which is pretty amazing because most operators out there, they that's their the PI, I don't think, no. Yeah. The yeah, professional yeah, side of it, no. no, exactly. That's right, and it, it, it's hard to get. Um, you know, particularly now, it's yeah. it's, a, it's a lot harder to get. So I think that's definitely the biggest thing that sets us apart. Um, but then again, you know, all of our safety standards, um, the simple fact that we are our anchor points are well beyond the um, Australian standard. Um, I think that's a, a big, big turning point. Um, and and again, the type of anchors that we use. Um, you know, using the anemometers and, and yeah. all of that, it's just, yeah, it really instills that confidence. Very important, as you said before, the um, the recourse as well of something you answer the phone, I think, which is a big thing. People think it's a no brainer yes. in business, yeah. but oh. believe me, I, you know, I've used a lot of, in, I've used some independence and stuff of things before, and yeah, you're right, just answering, being able to answer the phone being able consistently to answer the and, phone and, and show up. And um, show up, we've, exactly. We've had so many people call us like at the last yeah. minute and, and poor customers that have been burnt, really? you know, which is just horrible for yeah. them. But yeah. um, but they, you know, they said, oh, look, we, we had someone booked, they didn't show up, you know, they've taken our deposit and all really? that sort of thing, which wow. is just. Yeah. awful um but you know we're we're always there we'll always you know help out and you know do those last minute jobs if if we're able to yeah. which most of the time we, we absolutely are so sorry yeah. to hear because when we did the initial launch video we obviously had a few independent operators jump up and mm -hmm. leave some detailed comments and i think mm -hmm. it was it's i it's quite ironic being you know we we try and not go into that area too much to sort of disparage anyone but you're right but not rocking up taking mm -hmm. deposits not you know happens quite a lot and then whereas with gyms that just cannot happen no so it's, exactly. it's something that customers need to know it literally cannot happen with no. gyms because if that does happen for example um touch wood gym will step in and if he needs to we have warranty funds we have all these things which will step in it literally cannot happen for a customer correct yeah. absolutely that's it so again i think that's what sets sets us apart and and also the branding coming back to that you know it's a trusted brand mm. you know so many people book us and they go oh yeah we, we use jim's cleaning or we use jim's mowing or all of that sort of thing and we're like and then they go oh we didn't know it did they do jumping castles but this is great you know so <laughs> it's good to hear that it's yeah it's it's been fantastic yeah i think it's another thing with customers to remember as well like it's so important we we have to be so tough in customer service because of what you just said then if someone has a bad experience with gyms cleaning or gyms mowing they're not going to yeah. 
go to gyms, jump on castles, right? So for us, we have to have that high standard across the board. Mm. Whereas with, let's say more of the Facebook operators, there's, as you said, there's no recourse besides leaving a bad review online and that's it. They've got nothing to go to. And um, it's, yeah, it was quite funny. When I put the video online originally with Jumping Cast with the launch, we had a few independents jump up and down and say, Jim, what is all this sort of stuff? And yeah, yeah. as you would know, people not rocking up, taking deposits yeah. and not turning up, it's very common, unfortunately, for people. And then, as we are saying, as you know, with gyms, it just literally, I have to repeat my point again into this, it just does, it cannot happen. No. Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. No. That's right. Yeah. That's right. There's, there's too many procedures in place to yeah. stop it from happening. Yeah. Um, and it's also one of the reasons why we don't take deposits. You know, it also, um, we just, we work on the it's principle because case. we have a rainy day guarantee. If, you know, if, if, it's, if it's absolutely torrential and we don't feel it's safe to put it up, I don't want my castles getting wet. Mm. You don't want to have a wet party. Yeah. So we... We, we all leave as friends and we move it to a different day, you know, mm. so you don't have to feel like, you don't have to feel like, oh, do I leave a deposit? Am I going to get it back? Are they going to show up because it's not right, because it's raining or whatever? So, because we're communicating the whole way through the process. That's the yeah. first I've heard that. So, so you, you've got a rainy day guarantee. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, we do. So right. if, if it's really bad weather, we, we, you know, we keep in contact with the customer. If they want to postpone to a different date, we're very happy to do that or... You know, in some instances, they might just cancel altogether, which, yep. you know, is fine. It just means that we then get a weekend off or, <laughs> or we've always got so much work on that it's not, you know, it's not a big deal. But, um, but yeah, it, you know, it, that, again, just instills that faith, I think, in, in customers, um, you know, knowing that it's, yeah, that, that they don't need to stress about yeah. all the things. And how's the feeling been from you? Because you've worked, obviously, as well, jobs previously compared to what you're doing as your own boss. How was that transition or how was the different mindset shift for that? So, well, for me personally, I mean, this is my first sort of business, like being in, in my own mm. business. Um, and the, it's been incredibly rewarding. Like, I, I don't think I would have pictured myself actually being a business owner um, beforehand because I've always just worked full time and for somebody else. Um, but, yeah, the transition has been amazing, you know, just being able to have that flexibility Feeling like you know it's it's something of my own mm. that you know I have yeah, got full control over and and all of that is has been really great and again just bringing joy to people is just amazing. Yeah. So, but well, yeah. from your perspective, Billy, uh, for me, I play a lot more golf. Yeah, no. um, but the the um, yeah the working for yourself. Um, I like the fact that I can see that I can do more with this than what it came in the box. You know, yeah. I like the fact that if I can grow this. Um, and, you know, um, that, I suppose that's the thing of everyone who's in business. You know, we all want to make more money. We all want to be bigger. Mm -hmm. um, we all want to be able to deliver that next big product or that next exciting thing. Um, and I can do that in this division yep. because, you know, it literally is as new technologies come out and new jumping castles and new things come, you know, we will continue to keep offering new things, you know. Um, so I'm looking forward to... I've actually really enjoyed seeing... The growth in taking it from free castles to having like ten castles and then growing just mm. exponentially—it's so rewarding. Um, and just you know, getting your text messages with your reviews from your customers—you yeah. know—it's it, good. Yeah, and no, I love hearing that. And you're right, what you said about the expansion. Like a lot of people think with gyms there might be restrictions on place and stuff, and there's not. Mm. So you can do whatever you want. And I think with party height, such a general term, party height can mean anything. Oh. What you could do, you could do. Mm. Who knows what? Under that, you could do VR stuff. Who knows what you could do? 100%. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And we've had some really cool ideas from yeah. people that have shown interest in, in coming on board. And, and and it's amazing, you know. And that's what it's all about is just being able to share those ideas and, and grow grow our presence. And, yeah, that'd be great. You get to buy toys that you get to play with. But you <laughs> get to rent them out. Yeah. I think that's your so most that, important thing. Yeah, and the business expenses <laughs> as well. Business expense. Business. Yeah, so yeah. everything's a business expense yeah. as a toy. So that's a really good one. Exactly. But, guys, thank you very much for your time today. So... Congratulations to getting married as well. Um, Thank you. If Thank someone you. wants to learn more about being a franchisee or getting in touch with you guys for a quote, what do they need to do? Uh, so call one three one five four six and uh, yeah, get in touch. We'll um, we, we'll call you back straight away and um, and take you through the whole process. Send our information pack um, and yeah, we're always always available for any questions that anyone has. I think it's a great division, and I think you know. Plug for a franchise is all there, the unserviced leads with just you guys really running pretty much and generating all that unserviced work from the start of the year is quite amazing. So um, it's an absolutely, I reckon it's a great untapped market for people to get into. And um, yeah, obviously people listening to you today, hopefully, hopefully you can hear the joy in your voice and just how relaxed and happy you seem doing it, which is great to see as well. So thank you very much for your time today. And hopefully people jump on gyms.net and 131546. And thank you for listening today to the podcast. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh,